we've worked with ping images before. If you've got a website and you want to work with um, alpha layers, mm -hmm. it's really a great thing to be able to do. So oh, yeah. what that means is, if you look at this really sloppy job that I did in the camp of cutting <laughs> this phone out of, don't mind the fact that I did a sloppy job. I did that with my touchpad, all right? Uh, if you had a mouse, you'd be able to do a much nicer job. You see that alpha layer? What is nice about an alpha layer is it lets you throw a nice background uh, behind that image. So no matter what it is, you'll see, if you go to our website, for example, category5.tv, what do you have? You've got this big image in the background, and you've got our logo up at the top left, and it is transparent. It has an alpha layer. But the, the compromise is that uh, ping images are quite uh, pretty large. Oh, yeah. The file can. size. So that slows down websites if you have too many of them and they're mm -hmm. too big. Um, but it also makes it so that it's, uh, it's you know, pretty frustrating for people using a mobile device on oh, a slower network. Oh, the data, network. right? The data that they're using. Uh, I can't believe you made me say data. Um, <laughs> that's his name. That's not how I say database. <laughs> but you, you did it. Got a bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Being able to tr uh, put anything in the background is fantastic, especially for web. Oh, yeah. Because you can change out the background. You can do mm -hmm. whatever you want or layer things on top of one another. Um, but also, it doesn't tie you to any particular background. Mm -hmm. The old day, the front page days, um, we used to have to put a background behind our images. And then if we changed the background, we had to recreate all those images. Many steps. Gone are those days. Pings are big, though. <laughs> so let's get a look at these, uh, this particular image, but let's treat it as a ping. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Um, now, this is a rather huge image, so this is going to be a significantly large file, but let's do this just for fun so that you can see um, the difference here. So we're going to say I'm going to create a folder called test, okay? And we're going to save this as our master image, so we're going to call this master.ping, and we're saving it as a ping so that we maintain that alpha layer. So if I jump over as that's saving to my desktop and I see the test folder, there it is. And if I view not as a, um, I want to view it as lists instead of icons. So I can see that that's 4.9 megabytes. So if I click on it, there it is. It has the alpha layer. It does not actually have that grid as a part of the image itself. It, what it means when you see that is that you can now p uh, paint behind it. So let's say I create, and now I've got that ping file. I can create a transparent layer behind it in the GNU image manipulation program, and I can add a gradient, and now I've got this behind it. Okay, See how I can just at will change the background without affecting the foreground. It's a beautiful thing, but pings are huge. So let's say, um, let's fill that background with white, and let's save it as a JPEG to show you what we typically tend to do. We're going to go with a lossy JPEG image, and let's say we really want this to be smaller, so we're going to set the quality very low to 60. Okay, so the higher that number, the better the quality, but let's export that file, and you'll see um, at 60%, well, let's leave that open actually, just so that we can work with it. At 60%, uh, quality, it is 527.7 kilobytes. So it is significantly smaller file size, but the quality is significantly different as well. So here's the ping. Let's get in there at full resolution. See the Chrome icon is very, very nice and crisp. Let's jump back to my JPEG and get in there at full resolution. And we start to see some jagged edges, especially that browser one. We can see some lossiness on there. Um, and so you really start to see a difference in the quality, okay? You're going to see that even more significantly, I think, in web-sized images. Um, so let's, let's do that. Let's pull up that image again, and let's resize this for web. And we'll go, let's say, 600 pixels by 400 pixels, and scale that. Okay, I'm going to scale. That's, that's not to scale. Let's overwrite our master JPEG file, and then turn off the alpha layer. Let's see the actual size. And let's save that as a ping. Okay, and this initial step is so that we can really get a comparison of the various formats and see that, hey, ping is always a heck of a lot bigger as far as the size goes. So our JPEG now is itty bitty tiny like that, but it's 12.8 kilobytes. Our ping is significantly more, 98.4 kilobytes. There's the ping. Let's bring up the JPEG. And let's get a, let's get in there, and we're gonna we're gonna use digital zoom, three. Uh, you know what? Let's bring it up full screen, and let's get in there. So there's the ping. 
Let's look at the JPEG. There it is. So the JPEG, you can't even read the text. The ping, it's f fairly, it's quite a bit clearer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you see the lossiness mm -hmm. on the JPEG? See all that? And lossiness means see all that uh, pixelation and weird stuff there yeah. that's happening on the image. And then switch back to the ping. And even though right. the ping is a little bit fuzzy, it's not getting that, that blocky artifacting. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I can still see the clock here and read it. There's back to the JPEG, back to the ping. So the JPEG is significantly smaller than the ping, but one, we lose the alpha layer. Yeah. So we lose that transparency, but two, it also becomes um, very, uh, like highly less quality. It's oh, very yeah. lossy as far as formats go. So we want to work with that ping file, but how do we actually get that smaller? Now, when I saved it as a ping, you'll see export as master.ping replace. And what am I doing here? Well, I am compressing with a compress compression level of nine. That's the highest that it can be. If I went any lower than that, the file's actually going to be bigger. So ping compression is neat because it allows the ping file to be smaller in size, but it is still lossless. You don't lose any quality whatsoever. It's at the behest of um, it will actually take a little bit of a, a CPU hit on your browser because it has to then decompress once it's finished downloading. But it downloads a lot quicker, so it's a you know it's which which one is more important to you? Quick download is probably the one. Mm. Um, so with this, that's as small as GIMP can make that file using full compression on that file. I could turn off a couple of the other things, save background color. Uh, we definitely need to, well, you know what? We don't need to keep that because it's alpha layer. It's transparent. Uh, save resolution. Yeah. Uh, save creation time. We don't need that information. Save color values for transparent pixels. We don't need that either because they're transparent. Let's export that and see if it made any difference. So head back to our file and the file is still 98.4 kilobytes. So the most compressed we can get that ping image is still going to be 98.4 kilobytes. It's quite large compared to the 12 kilobytes of the JPEG. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to do this in the terminal because, hey, uh, our, patrons, uh, our patrons are saying we want to see more Linux stuff. We want to get into the terminal. We want to see some of this stuff. Right. We appreciate your feedback, folks. If you are a patron, you know that we're in the middle of uh, polling you for information about what do you want to see on the show because, hey, our patrons get first dibs. So uh, Linux is one of those things. Let's jump into the terminal and see how we are uh, going to do this. Whoop, wrong screenshot. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Okay, so we're going to jump into the terminal here. I'm on Ubuntu Mate, and uh, this is running great on my laptop. All right, so let's go onto my desktop, and I called that folder test. There are our files. If I do an LAH, I can see we don't need the double H. That was just a typo. It's okay. So we can see the 97K file. So there's a program that I am going to install, and this particular program is going to give us the capability to compress that file lossy, mm -hmm. but not wow. as lossy as JPEG, and still maintain the ping file extension and still maintain the alpha layer. Wow, okay. Okay, this is perfect That's for awesome. web. Perfect for web. So we're going to go sudo apt get update. That's the first thing that we want to do, enter our password. What that does is it looks at the repositories and it grabs all the latest uh, file information so that we get the latest version of what we want. Um, think of the word quantize. And that's what we're going to think about when we say ping quant. Okay, so P-N-G-Q-U-A-N-T. So that's the program we want. Sudo mm -hmm. apt get install ping quant. All right. You can find out more about that on their GitHub page. But there it is. It's installing on my computer. There we have it. So I've got the two files. Let's look at it with an LAH again so that we can see the file size is 97K. And let's type ping quant. You'll see that gives us the uh, options that we can use. So we're going to say ping quant, and we're going to say dash dash ext new dot ping, just like the example. And what that does is it adds new dot ping to my file name, so that if I look at this, it's going to be master new dot ping uh, when it's output. Then we're going to say uh, quality. And we're going to start with the minimum. So we want this to be at least 60% because that's what we did with JPEG. And then at most, let's say 80 because we don't want to go much higher than that because then the file is going to be large. Uh, then the speed. Do you want it to be super, super, super fast? 
that's going to cause it to be fast. We can go up to 11, but it's going to lose a lot of quality. Hmm. Sometimes it's better to go slow because you're going to get better quality. So we're going to actually say, you know what? I don't need speed. It's not going to take long anyways. Let's do speed one. We're going to go as slow as this bad boy can go. And we're going to do that so that we get the best possible quality. And then we're going to say the input file name, which is uh, master.ping. Now, remember, I don't need to specify an export uh, file name because I've already specified dash dash ext new.ping. Hit enter, and it's done. So even at its slowest speed, it was instantaneous. So why go any faster than that? Let's jump back. You know what? I'm going to still do the terminal ls dash lah master new.ping is only 23 kilobytes. 23 kilobytes down from 98. Wow. So we expect that, okay, the quality is going to be really low. Yeah, that's what you would think. We would think that. Let's take a look at our files here. Go back to our GUI. Here's our master.ping. Remember what happened when we did it with master.jpg? Let's do the same test with master new.ping. First of all, what we notice with master new.ping is we have maintained our alpha layer. Okay? Jump back to the, the main master ping. This is the full quality one. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go back to this one. What are you giggling about, Chatman? Yeah. Oh, you Chatman. Yeah, is, I'm not sure any compression One, two, will three, hurt four, that five, phone five, image. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Shot to the heart. Senor Wences, <laughs> did I mention I had to use my touchpad? Robbie didn't bring a mouse to this rumble, okay? So, cool it. I'm so kidding. All right, let's jump over to there. That's our master.ping, and there is our master new.ping. Oh, let me alt-tab. Ah, oh, it keeps wanting to go there. Okay, so master new.ping. Look at that. I can still read the clock. There's master, not compressed, 98K. Still read the clock. There is not a significant difference between them. I can see, so this is the original. I can see, look at the Google uh, search bar. At the very bottom of that, if I switch back to the compressed version, I start to see a little bit of aliasing there, which means that the line of that search bar is ever so slightly staircasing. Mm -hmm. mm. But from my perspective, looking at that on the web, seeing that on your website at, the, um, at that difference in size. So there's the new one. Looks beautiful. And there's the original. You can't beat it. That's ping. Wow. <laughs> ping quant. It's available on other platforms as well. We're showing it to you on Linux, but uh, you can also get it on Mac and Windows. And uh, you can go on to github.com and do a quick search for P-N-G-Q-U-A-N-T if you want to compile it from source, learn more about the project, learn some of the commands that you can use, uh, or submit your own pull request. Hey, mm, there but you go. essentially on Linux, you can install it just directly from your favorite package manager, Ping Quant, and that's going to compress those down. They say between 60 to 80%. It's from amazing. your ping file. That's incredible. And I could have gone lower. <laughs> I could have gone with a very, very low quality, and you can experiment. Right. You could start with 10% and go up to 40 wow. and see the difference. And if I did that, if I did that, because there's time, <laughs> Just cause. I'm going to say the X, X, it's going to be new 2.ping. Let's do it. 10, 40. Render, done. That file is now 19.9 kilobytes and looks like that. Hmm. Wow. Looks like that, folks. So play around with the settings. Hey, start at one. Work your way up to 10. And enjoy. <laughs>